Alright, hey all, welcome to part 2 of Sonic Lost World. Now we're going into the desert level, and this is where we see the Nintendo influence in the our second world is a desert have world. You yes. Have you defeat says then completely? If, for now, there's a boss rush later on. Oh. Uh, now, this is Eggman talking about his kind of bunnies to bad next game, which <laughs> made me laugh. Oh, shit. <laughs> now, this conk thing is basically a mind control beam sort of thing, and I'm not sure how Eggman got hold of this. He just managed to guess it. it <laughs> it's just sort of there. He like found a lot it of... on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Useful for controlling Yeti. <laughs> Zeti. <laughs> oh, I can't even remember. Ah, the kick attack. <laughs> anyway, what's with all the random trifles parts? Oh, yeah. Uh, is this really necessary? I think Maybe he's in a part of the Dark World. It looks too bright to be the dark world. Oh, oh crap. Wow. Isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> they do have a light world as you well. You suck at car parkour. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm trying to spin dash up the wall, but it weren't letting me. <laughs> spin dashing into a wall doesn't help. <laughs> is this still one of the good levels? No. Nah, or is this going in the crap? The 3D sections in this level are okay, but when you get inside, that's when you start getting a bit finicky, I find. Really? What does it sound Th This Slow level down? Yeah. Yeah. This level has some decent obstacles, but I will admit that later on in this level particular, it it zooms out to show you the main landscape. And it does basically look pretty. Yeah. It looks flat. Yeah, it pretty is. much. It is very much like all I'm I doing mean, is that forward. There's no kind of like loops or like ramps or anything to I mean, build yeah, up it's, space. It's good that they put in like enemies and other obstacles to try and slow you down. Oh. I'd yeah. rather have like the Unleashed style boost to win than have this sort of just run forward. Because yeah. oh, right. yeah, like at least with the boost to win thing, there's that sense of speed. Whereas this is just running forward at a somewhat reasonable pace. And these enemies here, they're nastier than one ass snake sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking in my mind about the. Oh, what was it again? I get confused so easily when I'm talking about Sonic. <laughs> Sonic gets confused. Sat AM, that's it. Yeah. Crap. Ah. <laughs> so that happens a lot because you kind of cock up when you're at the top of something and that's kind of thrown off for all year climbing. I've yeah, actually you read a few of the comics of, uh, at Sonic that point and they just run across Online. the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of Donkey Kong Country return sort of climbing at the top, along the top. Yeah. I think they should do like a game on like the comics. Um, like you know, like the ones with like Sally Acorn and all that. Even though she's evil now, I think she's not like, a robot or something. Oh, I, don't, I don't know how it works. Like the thing with the comics is the, and this is the thing with a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing with a lot of comics, and the they like, have to have proper wacky over the top sort of yeah. plot lines, and that's because that's what sells issues, isn't it? Yeah. Because you've got to have like something that seems over the top weird, because that's what gets people to see the ad on the front of the cover. And, that, and that's why you get so many in like the major comic series. You get so many of these Superman's turned evil, sort of, yeah, sort of, sort of <laughs> which has been done to death. But that kind of sells a comic, yeah. It? And a game if some, you're playing Justice. Some, um, <laughs> yeah. Sonic, but that, what would I think uh, sell it is like it's darker than the actual game series. Yeah. I, again, that's the kind of trying to make it look over the top cool. Yeah. Anyway, there's Eagle Wisps there, really which I'm deliberately uh, avoiding. Pokemon yeah. manga. Eagle yeah. Wisp. Mm. I mean, what is any of it? Pokemon Adventures manga. Is that with Red? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen a few. Books. I should read that at some point. It's oh, actually pretty that's good. So good. I've read some of the Heart Gold Soul Silver saga, which is uh, like a sequel. I haven't, watched much, I haven't read much of that, sorry. Yeah, it's. It seems okay, but I've, I'm like going into it not having not read the Gold and Silver one, so I'm kind of. Yeah. It's a following story. Oh, well, that's yeah. really good, the gold and silver art. Yeah. Spent, the red, blue, and yellow art is really, really good. Um, yellow, you sort of get a sense of adventure because you sort of follow yellow for the search for uh, red because he goes missing. Oh, right. But uh, gold and silver He's on is top great. of the mountain. <laughs> yeah. But that was pre before that. Yeah. That's sort of like gold and silver when he sort of goes on top of the mountain and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, these, these sections I don't like because they're very sort of slow, jump around a little bit, nothing really interesting happening. 
Yeah. But you can easily just run up the wall and jump. <laughs> you can't easily oh, run up the wall and jump. You can run up the wall and then get hit by something. No, I say easily. I do it fairly easily. Yeah, well, you've got lucky with this game. Or I just knew what I was doing. <laughs> because you watched my takes of it. Watching your takes doesn't help me. Only watching videos on puzzles help me. Watching a level itself play out doesn't help me in any way. Because it doesn't help So you watch my... videos to help you with this? Only with my like, puzzles. You should have done it yourself. You should have used your own intuition. That's what I did, but the game doesn't let you. <laughs> I did use my own intuition. Watching a video doesn't help me with my actual skill of playing the game no, or but, using the yeah, controls. I know, but you sort of want to be more independent. You don't want to watch or, a video. I saw the pussy like that. Well, I only <laughs> saw a couple of the levels anyway. Doesn't matter, you're pussy. <laughs> so the thing with these kinds of games is that, especially for this, when you've got like, each enemy needs to be taken out in its own way because they can't like use a simple homing attack which has worked for years. But things like that, it gives you an idea into how you're supposed to attack each enemy. Uh, yeah, this thing's kind of annoying. Ow. I hate these kind of tapeworm sort of enemies. Yeah, well, I'm just taking all the hits, <laughs> but I got killed by it then. <laughs> I think I'm gonna think sod it for the next take over. <laughs> yeah. This game isn't the most interesting to watch up in, honestly that yeah. It is the same, like it, it is. Like, well, there's very little variety in terms of the different level things. I must admit the first level as well, like the Green Hill level, yeah. it looks exactly like the, the yeah. same pretty much. Yeah. And this yeah. this is the same as well. And let's look at how long this level's been taking me. We're now seven minutes into the video and we're still on Act 1. To be honest though, there's not much like anything interesting is there in the desert, no. is there? But it's just sand, sand yeah. and more sand. I know desert levels are normally boring by default, but this is kind of... It's going on too long for it is, and this section is almost identical to the section we played earlier on. So like, it feels like we're just sort of yeah. killing time here. It's like copy and paste. Like. It probably is. Like at least the kind of aesthetic, like the main kind of what terrain. What happens if you keep on hitting that bell? It turns into a red ring. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Look how slow he's walking on the sand there. Yeah. I think I missed it there before we sod it. <laughs> now Sorry if you hit that boost and then... Yeah, there we go. Like that throws you off because like that thing there it looks kind of like it's about to throw you into the big worm enemy. And what's with all these random kind of melon sort of cactus? Yeah. Melon cactus. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what we throw? <laughs> Stage one complete. Yeah. Now with these kind of capture things at the end, you get more points depending on how far you are when you jump on them, and so there's. Yeah. A few I know why. Sonic always is forever doomed to walk fast and always walk in like one direction. It's because, um, you know the chick from uh, X-Men Origins, when she tells the guy to always walk? So basically she just touched him and he just, she just said, walk or run, <laughs> just keep on running. Anyway, this is the guy for this And that world. didn't really make sense, but yeah. No, this is Zomom. And last, I do that a lot. <laughs> and like I said in the last part, Zomom's <laughs> character is literally, he's the fat dude who eats a lot. And it's just. It's a little cool. He's a beast. <laughs> yeah, it's. Or well, it is borderline offensive, I suppose. Well, like, <laughs> no, it is, yeah. Like, oh, it's some, just. An overweight guy, guy was paying him, so probably said, what? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. like done to death, but it's, like, if you're going to base the characters on these stereotypes, you don't have to be quite so explicit with it. Anyway, this is the first mock speed section in this game. And yeah, it, I have to point this out, it does again rip off Galaxy with the whole B section. Yeah, it totally <laughs> isn't Honey Hive Galaxy at all. <laughs> I don't mind this section as a whole. This is my life grinding level. <laughs> There's a section later on where it gives you three, three lives yeah. in a row. Yeah. yeah, and then you can hit the wall and get put back to the checkpoint in front of it and get another three lives. And when you have to life grind in a Sonic game, that's kind of... Bruh, nah. Mm, I didn't have to do any life grinding. <laughs> you played it once the patch was out. Actually, well, I played it before the patch came out, remember? 
But and then I play. Do you hate this more than O six? Yeah. But like, and Secret Rings. Nah, Secret Rings has still got the everything's motion control, so that kind of kills that off entirely. You know, but so like, this is nowhere near as bad as O six. No, yeah, I mean, yeah. it, this is bland at times, but it hasn't yeah. got any bugs. The gameplay is often quite. It's quite times. fluid there, like the way yeah. you the story. Like the yeah. story is good. Yeah, but still, like my first playthrough, I just was think one of the most frustrating. The story looks of, okay. Of it's not special. It just does what it needs to do. Yeah, to be because honest. really, it's for children. So what do you expect? And then you yeah, got Harry, all these. Why are you then you've like got 18, the so right? <laughs> then you've got the Sonic fan base going. Oh, we want a more adult story. Which will never happen. <laughs> now, what I find funny is around the time when like. Like Super Rings and Black Knight and them sort of games sort of coming out and people were begging for I more like, six, simplistic yeah. stories and and yet the ones are like like twelve, thirteen, like the eighty seven games marketed towards. Yeah. Oh six cool is when it sort of like did appeal to like the old audience <laughs> but um yeah. it just failed though. Well it was trying to be like dark and edgy and it just didn't yeah. work. Plus like Eggman was like, I don't know, like super skinny in Eggman. Well, I wouldn't say yeah. pretty skinny. Where did this whole giant it didn't have Rubik's his shape, cube didn't. face come from? Who cares? <laughs> it's just there. What about all the other stuff? He <laughs> looks like a mix between Yellow Devil and yeah. just like a fat geezer. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. This boss is kind of. It's an okay boss, but I kind of, after playing this level so many times for like animal grinding or life grinding, whatever, I just think I've had enough of it. Yeah, he deserves me without it. I do yeah. like the boss music, it's okay with this music. Music in this game overall, there's some songs which are really good in it, and there's others that are just kind of forgettable. And that's kind of a shame to me, especially yeah. given that it's one of Tommy Alatani's soundtracks. But so long as the music isn't bad, that's good enough for it. Yeah. That had nothing to do with desert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That yeah. happens a lot in this Wait game. until you see the next level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got... Like, the level themes on that, they go out the window by act two most it's of the time. I just forgot about the game. Yeah. Now this CG is really impressive, yeah. I'll give them that. <clears throat> it's sucking all the life out of the world. Why are all the trees square though? I don't know. Because <laughs> they're trying to go for the Mario like sort of aesthetic. They're trying uh, to get it very simplistic. Ah, uh, Cuba. I love Cuba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, Is not. he the sort of the dumber one? Yeah. Too? Yeah. I love that. He's got a mountain juice dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> But this is on the Wii U, not the Xbox One. Yeah. Where's the Doris house as well? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Product placements. Yeah. <laughs> they no, always but, help. No, we've all got to go buy an Xbox so we can order pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's it was, the only purpose for it. Do you know if that, <laughs> do you know if that app's got achievements? Because if so, I want to download it. I you ordered <laughs> pepperoni. <Yeah. laughs> Went for Hawaii. <laughs> but think how. How many like Chivo horse there are out there? How much money they could make from like ten game score for spending over a turn on beta or whatever? Everyone <laughs> just sucks. You are watching TV. <laughs> yeah, well done, guys. You you've used your telly for watching telly. Yeah. You have paid to access. I know we're just sort of long in this <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're doing that a lot. We should probably finish up. <laughs> that was part two.